What's up, y'all? I got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. No one is angrier at a woman with standards and boundaries than a man who can't meet them. Naturally. And from what I've heard, some of those women's standards are based in definitely an alternate reality. I wish you guys took all the energy you spend begging women to lower their standards for you and did anything else with it. Anything else? Really? Well, all a person should always be careful what they wish for because one just might get it. And mm. a lot of those men that one seems to be complaining about in regards to not being able to meet those very realistic standards that many women have set forth might just decide that it's best just to avoid women altogether. And then what would a lot of individuals have to make videos about? I am not a track. Chat, let me know. Let me know what you think about, like... The bull ring nose piercing, the above the lip piercing, and then both nostrils. To me, it's just too much. It's just too much metal around the nose. Did to a man that is going to send me a Venmo request for half of a dinner bill. Noted. And on the contrary, nothing turns me on more than when the man I'm dating takes me out on a date he plans, picks up the tab as soon as the waiter drops it on the table, and then tips twenty percent on top of the total. That shit got me like, let's get out of here immediately. Let's get out of here before I bang your brains out in this restaurant. <laughs> How very charming. Who said <laughs> class doesn't exist anymore? Here's the reality, and it's time. This is wild to me. Wearing this little soccer t-shirt. She wants you to wine and dine her. Honey, you're not attracting the right level of guy. No guy, at least, I don't know. Let's keep it a buck. Chat. Of all the guys that we have here, we have a lot of high-value gentlemen here. Would any of you guys go for a woman that looks like that? It's giving Squidward. <laughs> Like I, the glasses with all the earrings and like the shirts, it looks dirty. It just, I, I don't know. I just don't see her and, and like her eyebrows aren't even all the way across. I just don't see her really attracting a high level guy because high level guys want women that are feminine, you know, quaint, uplifting, elegant. And this just isn't screaming elegance. This is screaming modern woman like entitlement. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the one that's delusional. Pretty girls will never get married. They'll have a lot of boyfriends throughout their entire life, but they'll never get a husband. Do you know why? Because they're, they're not respectful. And that if you're too. thinking, oh, if they're not respectful, how do they even get boyfriends? Well, boyfriends are only there for one thing. They get it. She's a runner. She's a track star. This woman is on to something. And then they go. Whereas a husband wants a respectful wife. So Thanks. if you're single and you're the prettiest girl you know and you think every other girl is ugly and yet these ugly girls are getting married and you're not, chances are those ugly girls are respectful and you're not. Here's the thing. Well, and you might you might have a pretty personality, but your attitude might stink, <laughs> buddy boy. That's the whole thing. There's a lot of these women, they are pretty on the outside, but as soon as we get to know who you actually are, that's when we find out how ugly you are. I think a lot of modern women miss this mark is they do so much work on their aesthetic and the way they look and their makeup that they forget to do the internal work. I always say this, your looks, like your appearance is what gets uh, us as men. That's what gets our attention. Your personality is what keeps our attention, but your character is what makes us fall in love with you. And if you don't spend enough time on the personality and character, your appearance is only one third of that equation. So you're always going to come up short and you're always going to attract people in the short term because if they want you for your looks, they want you for your body. They can get that with a one night stand. They can get that with being, you know, being a hookup. But if they want you to be their girlfriend or their wife, these men are looking for other qualities. They're looking for a lot of other qualities. And a lot of times these women just don't have those qualities because they've never done the work. This is why I say men don't run after women. Don't chase women because women run. It's just like money. Don't chase money because money runs. But if you attract these things, they will come to you. Answer. The girlies are the ones who approach the men. Wait, 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 wait. The mates. No. Wait. I'm telling well, you. Isn't in Atlanta, isn't there like way more women than men? So this makes sense. The girls are moving to the boys here. Yes. And they won't say it. They don't want to come out and say it, but they do. The men here are just so, they're just so spoiled. They are spoiled. All the it. girls are sharing the same it's man. Always, it's always a sign, gents. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Like, a man can't have standards. He's spoiled. He can't stand his ground. He's sassy. It's always something, dude. And all the girlies here, they're dating the same three Africans. Africans are a big thing here. Really? Yes. Like Portia Williams, African Oh type my God, team. they want that. And then if it's not the Africans, and yes, it has to be like the athletes. The Everybody's a, a, a money guy now, a, a, a entrepreneur, an investor now. Everybody's that in Atlanta, which <laughs> I don't get. But I wish, I wish I was a money guy. Still trying to figure that one out. 
<laughs> Child, I don't know what y'all be investing in. But yeah, be careful. Here, I just feel like the dating scene really, really caters to the men. The men don't really court. It's really weird oh, to wow. watch. And then it's weird to see like the women, how they will like they will beat each other's wigs off over these dudes. It's becoming. And, and I, once again, I heard in Atlanta, there's a lot more guys or sorry, there's a lot more women than there is men. So it actually makes sense to me that, you know. It, it makes sense to me that they're having to fight for these men. No longer approaching women, she'll have to initiate it. Energy. Otherwise, like they're dismissing. Atlanta nightlife right now is not the same. Stop it. Especially clubs. Oh, one no. of the biggest clubs, one of my favorites in Atlanta, it just closed down not too long ago. <gasps> it's not Magic City, is it? No, not Magic. Magic, cool, but it's not like... Um, I'm sorry, but if you're spending a lot of time in strip clubs, you're... She's a runner, she's a track star. You're for the streets. It just... Those type of establishments attract degeneracy. There's not a lot of like genuine connections made there. Maybe business dealings between men, men to men. But like, if you're a girl there looking for a, a guy to take serious, that is the wrong. It's like it's like throwing a fishing pole in a pond full of piranhas. It's like you're only gonna catch things that are gonna bite you, and it's not gonna be good. Popping serious. No, they things. they doing all of that in magic. You can have a good time in magic, actually. Mm -hmm. But Allure, that used to be my favorite club. It just closed down. Why so. did it close it down? I don't know. But now we got Onyx. Onyx, yeah, it's cool, but I don't know. Magic is cool. Nightlife in Atlanta just not the same right now, though. Why? Because of the close down or just generally? Everybody locked up. In prison? Everybody locked up. All the niggas with money, they They, they in inside. prison? They <laughs> Everybody, it's just a drought right oh now. Oh my God, free the bottle poppers. <laughs> free the bottle poppers. Free the bottle poppers. They're so important. They're such an integral part of the, yes. the club life. Maybe they'll come out in the winter. It's been real slow lately, dry. All the bottle poppers are in jail. Yeah. Oh God. A lot of them, not all of them. A lot of them in jail or in hiding because they don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Men aren't going- Like I said, degeneracy. Guys in jail, bottle poppers in jail. I just I feel like it's just bad. It's a recipe for disaster, man. And then these women are wondering, where are all the good men? Well, you're hanging out at a dance club. No wonder you're not attracting high-level men. High-level men aren't going there. It's degeneracy. Guys that are in jail, guys that are going to prison, guys that are scamming, guys that are doing illegal activity. If you're a single man in Atlanta, let's see. Oh, there's a lot Here's of the women thing. in there. The Atlanta Club. I, I don't know. Chad, have you ever been to Atlanta? I've never been to Atlanta. I don't even know what to expect there, but I'm seeing a lot of women, not a lot of men. But the problem is these women are probably all going after men that have money. And men with money exercise options. As Kevin Samuels would say, a man is only as faithful as his options. If he's got bags on bags, why would he settle for one chick? Like I always say, there's two options you can take as a guy. You can go build the kingdom yourself and then get a princess, and then she has to share you with concubines. Or you can pick a woman out of the village when you're a villager, or you're both peasants. You guys can build a kingdom and a dynasty together. She's or You're a king, and then she's a queen, and you both reap the benefits, and you're both monogamous to each other. But ladies, if you're going out there and at the finish line of these races and picking the winners, why would he just be with you? Why would he just be with you? Stupid. It took him so much effort, so much time, so many resources, so many hours, so much blood, sweat, and tears just to get to where he's at, to, to where he's at a, a place where you deem him worthy. And if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. Put it on a freaking t-shirt. Put it on a t-shirt. Men are moving on from this. Hey, y'all. I'm going to do a story time with dating in Atlanta. As you guys know, I am a newly single woman. I have been single since... Last year, September, coming out of a relationship for four years, and I found out he was a narcissist, but that's another story. I, I love it. That's always the first thing they say. I find out he was a narcissist. It took you four years to figure that out? <laughs> four years to figure out somebody was a narcissist? And why is that always the thing? Narcissism, I'm pretty sure, has to be diagnosed. You can't just call somebody a narcissist because it's easy. Let's see what she says here. I have been going on dates here in Atlanta, and when I tell you guys it is so creepy out here in this dating scene, let me start off with the first guy I started dating. We had went on a couple of dates with each other. The vibe was there. We're texting. I met him at a chicken wing split place I was walking out of. Come to find out, this man was in a whole relationship. And he told me that his girlfriend was okay with him seeing other women because she realized one woman could not be enough for him. He's in an open relationship. Isn't that what y'all are all about? Like the polyamory? Isn't that, isn't that like the pop? Isn't that what's popping now? 
Now, as you guys know, I am not sharing my man. We had never slept together. We were vibing. The lust was there. And I love that he was such a great entrepreneur. But I'm not finna date another a man that another woman is already accounted for. Okay. Then you want me to give you all this time, not talk to nobody else, but you already have a girlfriend. And I literally, the last time I had hung out with him, once I found out he had a girlfriend, I was so turned off. I texted him a long message and told him it's not going to work because I can't date somebody that's already accounted for. When I tell you guys, he was so pissed and he was like, you know, I thought we were vibing. You're sitting here worried about another woman, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that was number one. Number two. <laughs> Loki. Does somebody want a carrot? Huh? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. He's back from Pet Smart, smelling great. I met a guy at a kid park with my daughter. And oh, he I love it. I kind of guessed it, buddy boy, but I didn't know. I'm glad she clarified. There were his kids. So, of course, he got kids. I know you got a, a girlfriend. I'm not a girlfriend, a baby mother or an ex wife. I don't ask that because I'm like, you know what? We're going to meet. We go out to eat. First date, he tells me he's married and that his wife. He's married? <laughs> is allowing him to have an open relationship with her where she can date other women and he can date other women but she doesn't want to date other men chat let me, let me know let me know could you guys do an open relationship i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't think i could i think one woman is enough headache <laughs> think i want two women to deal with golly having Cass is enough i love her to pieces but good lord the estrogen of a woman will drive you up a wall sometimes but yeah two women absolutely not bro i couldn't do it I got too many other things to worry about. What sense does that make? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm eating. But that didn't even make sense to me. He, we, we, I didn't say shit while we were on the date because I wanted to get my food paid for and I didn't have to pay for my food. Wow. And I don't usually do that, but I just was not in the mood to pay for that. I don't money. usually do this, but uh, I'm doing it right now. Because I barely wanted to be the, uh, <laughs> the lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> you definitely have done that before. I don't usually do this, but uh, <laughs> you definitely do that. Here in the first place. But he texted me after the day. I have not responded. And I'm going to text him today and let him know. I thought about it, but I don't want to date nobody's husband. It is scary out here, y'all. Like, I am so new to this dating scene. I don't know how y'all been going through this. Because this made me not want to date anybody and just be celibate. These men are in You better sell a bit of that to somebody who cares. Relationships. Or they have a girlfriend. Like, what the fuck? My friend was like, going forward, I need to ask them the first time they talk, try to talk to me, are you in a relationship? Are you married? That needs to be the first thing I ask them. And I'm like, damn, like, I would assume if they're trying to talk to me, I wouldn't have to ask that. Let's get this. Well, like I say, man, you either... Meet him when he's a peasant, build the kingdom with him, and you share it. Or you meet him when he's a king, and these guys have options. And if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. Put it on a freaking t-shirt. And this is what these ladies don't get, is as they get older, their options are going to get more limited. You had a four-year four -year relationship with a man, and you chose to give that up, and now you want to get back in these streets, she's a runner, she's a thinking it's going to be easier, easier when it's not. It's not easier, and the guys that are high value enough, they're going to have a girl, and then they'll have you on the side. Like, this is your reality. If this, you attract what you are, if this is what you're attracting, more than likely, that's your league now. Good morning. Um, I would say get ready with me, but I accidentally already got ready. So, um, <laughs> oops. But let's we care. Update. I don't even remember the last time we did one of these. It's definitely been a hot fucking minute. But, um, I was probably still. No, I, I was doing better the last time we did one of these, right? Well, I'm still doing better, so I, I guess you could keep it a book. Her face and her neck don't match. Shots fired! So I have been talking to someone new. Um, it's complicated, though. I don't want to be like, what are we? But like, what are we, shoddy? No, but like, seriously, um, it's been really good. I guess Stupid. you could say. Sorry, Lola distracts me because she's just chaotic. Um, but yeah. Went on a date, 
This is what a lot of these women also don't realize is that like, they're like, why can't I get a good man? Where are all the good men at? Honey, your life is pure chaos. You can't even tell a succinct story. You can't even begin with the end in mind and just get to the point. Like you just ramble on and on. Sorry, it's just so chaotic. You're brushing your hair. That's all you're doing. You're not doing a lot here. Like get to the point. This, this is a great storytelling tactic right here. Begin with the end in mind. Think about where you're going to get to and then just fill in the gaps. But a lot of these ladies just start rambling. Went so good. And I do actually like really like this person. But you can't be like, what are we after one day? Um, and it is also complicated. And I'm not going to be able to have a second date with him for a hot minute. So that's fucking great. Um, but I don't want to get into that too much. I want to keep that off the internet and... Just see where it goes before I talk about it too much because I don't want to get my hopes up and then look like a fucking moron. Um, but no, really nice guy. Too late for that. <laughs> um, do like him a lot, like a lot, a lot, which I didn't think was actually possible again. But it's crazy because I went from someone telling says she's not going to talk about it and then starts talking about it. You gotta love this. I mean, my expectations would never be met, or I'm unreasonable, or there's just, I'm too much to deal with. What I want is unrealistic. And then someone just comes along and checks every single box without even, like, breaking a sweat over it. Like, they just do it naturally. And I'm like, oh. Honey, I he's been conditioned. You ain't the only one. Sure, there's a lyric somewhere out there for that. I really wasn't as bad as you made it seem. Or like, I don't know, maybe I am bad. <laughs> they just don't say anything. No, I'm kidding. But really... This this type of behavior... There's that thousand yard stare for you. This type of behavior leads to Frankensteining a man. Oh, my standards are so high because Jason had this and Mark had that and Chris had this. And then more than likely this guy's going to burn her because once again, if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. And what he's doing for you, he's probably learned through going and dealing with other girls. Like if I was to get back out in the market, bro, I'd be a rock star. I probably have a, a 90 to 100% close rate because I know everything that women want to hear. And now I got money. I was I was I was um knocking them back when I had when I was broke, when I had no money. Now I got money? I got a house, I got a dog. Like come on, it'd be so much easier now. I'm really happy. I'm excited to see where that goes. Um but like I said, it's going to be a hot minute till there's any update on that cuz it is kind of a forgive my dog. A complicated situation. Um but that's fine. That's fine. I'd rather wait around for the right person. I'd rather spend time with Chad than get a good guy. <laughs> that's exactly what that means. Do anything else. I'm telling you like I was looking for a man. Like, I literally was not talking to a single guy except this person. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. Something about me was like, talk to him. Do it. And I'm glad I did. But yeah, super, super sweet guy. Um, really like Still him. talking about it, by the way. Said she wasn't going to. Still talking about it. Excited to see how that goes and where that goes. Um, my birthday is in less than a month. So that's kind of exciting. I'm getting like old as fuck and that freaks me out a little bit. Because I'm like, what the hell is going on with my life? I have no clue what is going on. Work has been the same. Um... Lola has been the same. She lost her woman. I love these women that give life updates to just nobody. <laughs> nobody asked for this. <laughs> just giving a full-on life update. Her woman. The, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She lost her womanhood um, about a month ago, but she's pretty healed from that. She goes to work with me a lot. Yeah, don't you? We still go to work, and you still pay the bills. Yeah, you got to. Stupid. She did pee the bed the other night, yeah, with me in it. She peed on me. I was not sure which one of us actually peed. I'm being so serious with you right now. <laughs> I'm front and honest. I'm, I wasn't sure. But until she came up and was like telling herself in my face. And I was like, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Glad it wasn't me, but not glad that it's 3 a.m. And I have to clean all this the fuck up. But yes. Bro. Chaos. Just absolute chaos. These women right here, massive red flags. Can't even stay on subject. Talk went from... Talking about Chad to now her dog's peeing on her. Where are we going with this? There's your life update. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, I can hop on here and give you another one. And then slowly introduce them to my TikTok if they would ever want to be. But a lot of people are like, give me the fuck off that 
TikTok, and I'm like, I, I get it. I get it. It's not for everyone, but my girls. My girls love to hear from me, so there's that life update. I'm going to fix my hair. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I'm also letting it grow out, okay? Short hair, Lexi era is coming to an end, okay? Sorry, it's growing out. But um, I'm going to fix my hair and then get ready for work because it's still grind away. That nine to five, ooh, ooh, get you some, yeah. <clears throat> but have a good day. I love you all. What was that? Just like burp mid sentence. Just, uh. <laughs> what happened to being ladylike? Not telling your business. Not airing out all your dirty laundry. What happened to those days? I remember back in my day when a woman was just exclusive to you. She wasn't made for the streets. She was made for you. Good lord. What is. It's just times have changed, man. Times have changed, and it's so weird. It's so weird nowadays. Uh, okay, let's let's hop on the subreddit. This is from Cultural News. Don't let anyone text you on Instagram. Maddie, my parents might be monitoring my activity. I'm in a fight with my family, and they don't support me anymore. So I had to make a small private OF page to make some extra money. Try pasting this link in your browser. Yeah, I'm not joining. Nice try. Then just delete the space after the dot. Not doing it. Bye. All you OF people go to... Listen, this is just for a way for me to see if you're serious about me. What? <laughs> Serious about me? I only meet with people from OF. After we get to know each other more, a lot of things can happen when girls meeting up with online strangers from IG. I have no... What? So she would rather, rather meet a guy that pays for her OF first and you're not willing to join me there is a red flag for me. You being an OF model is a red flag. You probably have a high body count and a waste of time. That's not fair. I'm just trying to make a living. Are you really not going to add me? <laughs> oh my God. Take accountability and get a real job. I'm perfectly fine dating a woman working in fast food. And really, if I'm good enough for you, I'm good enough for other people. So I don't need you to waste my time with you. Ouch, that hurt. But I I thought you were a real human. Don't think bots are this. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Well, hey, cultural news. I don't know if that was you, but good job knowing your worth, buddy. Good night. Good job knowing your worth. Um, shout out to you guys. Drop some things in the subreddit. It's just reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. It's in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He's all blank and slow. He just had lunch, and now he's got a carrot. He's ready for a nap. He gets so sick of me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was good to have you all out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.